Alrighty, so here we have Kelly's Caves 3. As described to me, it's kind of like Ratchet and Clank, which I doubt because look at it. <laughs> anyway, uh, big disclaimer, this game was provided to me for free by the developer, so uh, this is still going to be totally my own opinion, so I'm not paid or anything to say good things about this game. I'm just going to say what I feel about it. But it looks kind of interesting. The music's pretty cool so far. I have no idea what this game is about. And let's see what goes on. I'm hoping it'll work right away with the key with my gamepad. It doesn't seem to be. Okay then, that's a little bit disappointing. Alright, I guess I'm going left and right. I don't even know if my mouse is showing up. Okay, so controls are a little bit odd. I have to <laughs> use the arrow keys and the space bar. I have no idea what fire is. Hi Lloyd! Parents got kidnapped by Herbert again. How did you know? I saw the hover ship fly away. Listen, Herbert, revamped the caves and... Oh, wait, listen, Herbert revamped the caves and kept up his experiments. It's gonna get crazy down there. I'm ready. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at this. Now, I think the way that he described this as Ratchet and Clank was the weapon system is kind of similar and psychotic enough, which, if that's true, this will be fun. Okay. If I knew what the heck... Let me check the controls here. I don't know what fire is. Whoops. Oh yeah, and this is also a little bit annoying. It only goes to 1080p, which I guess it just now switched to. Kind of wish it could go to 1440, but no big deal. Alright, controls. Uh, I, I can't even click on keep. Okay, anyway, shoot is Z. Right, of course it is. What the heck? And now I'm down there. Oh, there's the fire. Okay, then. Yeah, this is an issue. Let me alt-tab this. Maybe this will... Nope. <laughs> okay, well... Let's restart this, see if this helps. I'm assuming changing the resolution in the middle of recording isn't uh, a good idea. So, let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so, sword is melee. Good to know. Ah! I do not like uh, Z being shoot there. Okay, let's make... Wrong one. Let's make that one uh, shift. Okay. Sh. Nothing else. To shift. Wow. The dog barking now. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't like that one either. <laughs> okay. I just need to change it to this. Uh, I don't know how long my dog's gonna bark. All right. So that's rolling. That's odd. Can't change this. Okay, that's weird. Jack, come on. Okay, anyway, sorry about that. Let's get into the actual game. I've been wasting too much time here, so... Okay, so anyway, let's see what this is like. Seems like a pretty basic game so far. Ouch. Now oh, I can double jump. That would explain a lot. Holy cow, how much health do those things have? Okay, well I missed a bunch of coins over there. Where were you barking at, dog? Come on, come up here. There you go. Good dog, go to bed. Anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> Maybe this game gets a little bit more fun later. I'm not really too sure. It seems like it's going to be just any regular basic game that uh, floods steam on a daily basis. Okay, let's see what's inside of here. I can open it. Oh, okay, you see. There's some uh, gold, I guess. <laughs> this game's not good so far. I'll give it maybe an hour. Looks like there's a boss there. We'll see how fun the boss is. Oops. I mean, if the only thing that this guy has is it's like Ratchet and Clank because of the weapon system, then that's okay. <laughs> you can, it's like saying any game is like Super Mario because you can jump. But, uh, I'll take a look, see what this is like. It kind of feels like just some cheap 3DS game that you, uh, you would buy, like, Grandma would buy for their kids for Christmas, but you wouldn't actually pay for it yourself, because, you know, one of those 99 cent games that show up at the end of game, or show up at GameStop in about two years. Seems like there's nothing over there. But, I mean, the music's cool, plays well, controls are okay. 
graphics are pretty well done, I guess. I mean, pixel art, so <laughs> nothing that hasn't been done a million times, but uh, I, it's better than anything I could do. Levels seem pretty short. Oh, horses! What am I saying? Wolves! Okay. Give me that heart. Heart system, same as Zelda, looks like. I don't even know if there's any, like, secret areas that I'm missing. You will level these weapons up by using them. Okay, higher level means more power. You'll probably find lots more weapons down there. How are you getting ahead of me every time? Hello, shotgun! Knife bandit, okay. Well, I guess I can't hit that thing. Let's just go in here. There probably was something up there, but I seriously doubt the secrets of this game are really meaningful in any way. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess this is interesting. Seems that I can actually... What the heck? Okay. Well, I was gonna say it seems like I could actually... Yeah, I can kind of hang a little bit on the edges here, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, look at that. I'm totally off the edge. It's kind of good for some more, some more of the psychotic jumps, but... I wonder what's up there. Oh, I only had one heart left. What the heck is that guy? Is that the bad guy? It must be. Holy crap, am I all the way back here? I am, I'm all the way back at the beginning of this area. Okay then. <laughs> That's a little brutal, but hey. I was complaining the other day when games are too hard, or too easy. So, that's fine. Although this really isn't that hard at all, so. Let's try to kill the first boss. And I mean, I was uh, playing through the Twilight Princess HD remake and you get to the Cave of Ordeals, which is this, for anyone who doesn't know, it's this big cave that uh, is 60 floors long. Or, okay, it's 50 or 60 floors deep and you have to do the entire cave at once. <laughs> and that's really annoying when you can't get any checkpoints, you can't get any uh, more fairies for health, there's no... Uh, weapon like refills you can't get more arrows can't get more bombs and it's just, uh, anyway I didn't know all that when I walked into it so as I'm doing it I am sitting there thinking oh wow I only had one heart again this is pathetic <laughs> anyway as I uh, was playing through I didn't know that there were no checkpoints so I only had one fairy and I get to the very final floor where there's three stupid dark nuts and I have one heart left, and there's one dark nut left, and of course it kills me. And I don't even know how it killed me, but anyway, I thought, okay, so I'll go back to like the 40th floor, right? No, I had to go redo the entire thing. That was great fun. Okay. Ah, you wolf. It almost feels like they take too many hits to die, but hey, it's fine. Uh, the deaths so far are totally my fault because I'm not paying attention. Of course, it's the same kind of deal where, like, if you rapidly tap the button, it's faster than if you just hold the button. <laughs> that always makes me laugh for some reason. Ah. Oh, okay. Got my heart back. Anyway, now that we're past that part. Defeat 25 direwolves. Okay, no, I wasn't dying. I was just getting the achievement. That's all I was doing. That's it. <laughs> anyway, if anyone wants to give this game a try, I'll have a link to the Steam page. Don't think it costs too much money, but you know, a lot of these games are pretty fun. Especially, I know some of my friends are like achievement hunters, and they. Wow. Okay. Model 50 Observer. That was like drastic. Ah, there we go. Anyway, a lot of my friends get some of these easier games, just sole purpose for achievements. Ah, how? Jeez, are you kidding me? <laughs> it almost, it just feels like that they take away too many dang hits to die sometimes. Alright. But I mean, I'm not gonna call this game hard by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, uh, what? What? What just happened? I touched the water and I died? There was like a platform in the water though, so I can't- okay. Never mind, this game isn't as easy as I expected, so I guess the, the developers got that going for him. 
I, okay, that was weird. I, I had like two hearts, right? So did the water just kill me? Jeez, double jump work, okay. I feel like they need to die in one more cycle of that and that'd be perfect, but no. It's like, you, they don't die fast enough for you to like, ah, get around them here. So you like, you could hit me before I could kill him. Which is kind of the same with this guy. Ah, okay. I, I feel like this would be easier on a gamepad too. That's one other issue, but mine isn't working. So I don't know. I don't really want to fight with it to get it set up either. At least I got a lot of gold, I, I, I guess. Oh, jeez, you did that to me last time, you idiot. Whatever, let's just go. Okay, so the next one's a checkpoint. I just need to make it there. <laughs> Which, these levels aren't even very long. Okay, so I cannot jump in the water. I guess that dire wolf has to die. Okay. Surprise, there's not a wolf on there. Of course there's one there. Okay. No big deal. Oh, wow, he hit me anyway. Weapon up. Dire wolf. I love how you can shoot them even when they're, uh, uh, even when they're just barely below you like that. That's always kind of the annoying thing in NES type games is you can't shoot them unless you're like on the exact same plane as they are. And that usually gets you hit a lot more, because of course they can shoot you when you are on a different plane. Oh, okay, I faced the wrong way. That was my fault, but I got my heart back. Or I got another heart because I leveled up. I don't know. Wow, that dog's snout is just like disintegrated after that. Okay. Alright, I think I gotta take back what I said about this not being too good. I don't, I wouldn't consider it that good, but I'm having fun on it. So that's one thing. The music sounds like a song that I heard in the mall today. Can't think of the song name, but it's pretty good music. Okay, nothing up there, but I got another heart, so I guess it's useful. I feel like I should be able to break all these blocks that I'm going on top of, but I either don't have the weapon for that or I can't break them. I don't know which. I need a diamond pickaxe or something. Come here, pirate thug. I mean, these enemies are just like so unbelievably basic. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, great job on this zone. I'm almost done with this area. Yeah, each zone has a crazy boss at the end. I've heard there's a deranged direwolf guarding the entrance to the caves. Good luck! Alright, let's see if this is like worthy of uh... Hey, it's a runescape health bar! That's what it looked like anyway. <laughs> let's see if this is worthy of like rogue legacy or something. Oh! Ouch! Ow! Wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a little bit worthy. Wow, my microphones are really loud. Alright, so... Let's try it again. Jeez. Okay, gotta see if I can jump over it better. Are oh, you just gonna walk back and forth like that? Okay. Oh, you did that on purpose. Wow. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like extremely easy to get hit by this guy and the controls aren't helping. Okay, let's see if this will work. I think maybe if I just take damage from him instead of, uh, yeah, okay, so it's the kind of boss where it's not even worth dodging him. <laughs> Alright, that was kind of stupid. Defeated the deranged direwolf. Callie! Hey, Rupert, I haven't seen you since you stopped showing. <laughs> okay. That's understandable. I mean, I could bring it blah blah blah. I thought we could run a store as a family, but what after what happened with my mom, he's too far gone. Plus, he was always a jerk when he was around. You know how the saying goes, you can't help someone that doesn't want help. That's a pretty good way of looking at it. Uh, my dad kidnapped your dad and mom. <laughs> okay. 
Come check out my store. Sure thing. What have you got? You have chicken leg. Refill next time health at 1 HP. Okay, and then you have glass of milk. 3 HP. That seems to be the better one. Respawn at last level. Wouldn't be too bad. Fills health. Increase power for 10,000. Roast beef. Coin multiplier. How long does that last? That'd be worth getting. How about this one? Fills one heart. Okay. As for the weapons, you have an assault rifle and an RPG. Wow. Okay, so I have my shotgun. This infects enemies. Okay, we'll just go back. Anyway, uh, we're at about 15 minutes, so that's gonna be it for this video. I think I'm gonna make a few videos of this at least until I get bored, because I'm having a little bit of fun. I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, check out the description for a link to a playlist for this, and be sure to check out my other playlists if you want to see the other games I've recorded. So that'll be it for this video.